Then we get to the interesting part, which is your trapping tracking. And the reason I jumped forward to July 1st is this is an updated version of the form that lets you track trapping routes. And that's actually being released in production July 1st. So from day one, you'll see um, this version of the form that has the trapping route selector. So what is a trapping route? Before I actually enter any trap servicings or you know traps added and removed, I have to pick a trapping route. And the reason for that is we wanted to make the system automatically calculate total and operation. And to do that, we need to track which trapping route you're working on. So quick aside here, where do these trapping routes come from? Under the agriculture menu, there are several other things here, but the first one we'll see is trapping routes, which I'm going to open in a new tab here. Just uh, for those of you that don't use web browsers a whole ton, if I, if I want to keep my place on this form and open this trapping routes in a separate tab, I can just hold down the control button and click trapping routes and it'll pop it open in a new tab for me. So uh, whoever is running your trapping program will need to set up your trapping routes. And each trapping route consists of, basically if I add a new route here, consists of a checkbox for which trap types are on that route. So if I added a new route three, I would say, okay, this is just EGDM and LBAM traps. In addition, in order to be able to calculate the total in operation, I need a starting point. Right, so I need to know on July 1, twenty twenty four, there were seventy five traps in operation. Okay, because what the system is going to do is every day that trappers enter trapping summaries, they're going to add and subtract from this number every day from seven one to whatever you know if they're entering data for September or December. It's going to count forward to the total number and operation for that day. In addition, if I want to, I can specify a target count. So if we're supposed to have 95 traps on this route, I can say that's our target. And that is displayed on the, you know, on the trapping entry form and also on the trapping report just so you can keep track of you know, how many short or how many over you are on your trap counts. And then similarly, I'll have to put in a start date for LBAM. And in that case, we have zero. So it's just going to be adding and removing from zero. And our target is 25. And optionally, I can provide a longer description. I don't need to. Save and now I have three trapping routes available. So there's a little bit of setup that happens uh, to get the trapping routes defined. And then when your trappers are entering their trapping forms, and I'm going to refresh this screen to pick up that third trapping route I just entered, first thing they'll do is they'll pick which trapping route they're working on. And then that will populate the appropriate trap types, and they can enter their trapping summary. So I did 12, none relocated. I added four, none removed. And that was two and a half hours and 25 miles. And then LBAM, I did two. Relocated one, uh, added four, didn't remove any, and that was one and a half hours and 13 miles. Okay, and I can save that. So that's pretty much the anatomy of a um, ag data entry form.